situations in which the Bioplex MagPix instrument will fail calibration or verification due to a contaminated internal chamber. This will require an extended cleaning of the MagPix. This video will demonstrate how to perform an extended cleaning. This cleaning might be needed when the MagPix fails calibration with an error 59. An error 59 gets triggered when the MagPix system does not detect beads during calibration. Sometimes the instrument passes calibration but fails verification with error codes ranging from 2081 to 2088 or a percent total misclassification failure in the verification report. These errors usually occur when an insufficient number of beads pass through the MagPix flow chamber. More specifically, they can be caused by a clogged sample probe or dirty chamber where the beads are stuck in the imaging chamber. A clogged probe or contaminated chamber are the most common errors observed with the MagPix system. To troubleshoot these situations, start by removing and cleaning the sample probe and making sure the sample probe height is set correctly. Instructions for cleaning the sample probe are provided in the how-to videos that come with the instrument. For instructions on setting the probe height, refer to the Setting the Probe Height on the Bioplex MagPix Multiplex Reader video available on the BioRad Life Sciences YouTube channel. After the cleanliness and height of the sample probe have been verified, perform the preset enhanced maintenance routine a couple of times within the Bioplex Manager MP software. Then perform the DI water test to see if the chamber is clean. Details about this test can be found in the Bioplex MagPix Multiplex Reader Distilled Water Test Video, available on the BioRad Life Sciences YouTube channel. If the chamber is still clogged with beads after you've carried out these steps, an extended cleaning might be necessary. This will involve replacing the dry fluid with cleaning agent, such as 10 to 20% bleach or 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide, and priming the system 10 times. Following this, the system will be flushed with DI water before a fresh dry fluid container is installed. Here's how to carry out the extended cleaning. Pull the dry fluid compartment door down to access the dry fluid bottle probe, which is on the left. Make sure that there are no salt deposits blocking the vent hole and ensure that you can see through the grommet vent hole. Pour 60 mils of 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide or 10 to 20% bleach into a beaker or disposable reservoir. Usually, one prime routine uses about 6 mils of liquid. Thus, 10 prime routines need about 60 mils of liquid. Remove the dry fluid probe from the bottle and place it into the reagent in the reservoir. You may have to hold it in place with your hand to keep it from slipping back into the instrument. In Bioplex Manager MP software, select the prime routine and click Start. Repeat this procedure 10 times. Discard the reagents from the disposable reservoir and fill a rinsed or new beaker or reservoir with DI water and repeat the prime routine 10 more times. This procedure will take about 20 minutes to complete. Place the drive probe back into the drive bottle container. In the software, select the prime routine three times to prime the instrument with drive fluid. Finally, recalibrate and verify that the MagPix system is working. As always, if you have questions about any of your BioRad products, please don't hesitate to contact us at support at biorad.com.